While the tax code rewrite was working its way through Congress, New Jersey Chamber of Commerce President and CEO Thomas Bracken called it very dangerous for New Jersey, warning it would harm property values and make the state less competitive. What does he think now? Recently, Bracken, an NJTV trustee, sat down with business correspondent Rhonda Schaffler. Heading into the new year, are you more or less optimistic about New Jersey's business prospects for 2018? I am cautiously optimistic. I think there's a lot of things that could happen that could uh, improve the momentum of the business climate. Uh, and if um, everybody new to Trenton gets on the same page, some of that can happen. Um, so the state is teed up. You know, there's a lot of things that are ready to go. There's a lot of things that can help our economy. Um, so I am cautiously optimistic, but things have to fall into place for that to happen. We'll take that optimism. And at this point, when you look ahead to 2018, obviously we've got a different makeup in Trenton. We have one party leadership. Have you gotten much feedback from some of the incoming politicians, including the governor-elect, on some of the priorities already outlined by the chamber and other business leaders, whether it's reforms, workforce development, et cetera? We have a, definitely have a set of priorities. Uh, we have communicated that to all the leaders uh, uh, that are going to be in place next year. Uh, we're continuing to have those discussions. So all we've ever asked is that people sit down and we have a meaningful discussion about those uh, initiatives because every one of them um, are going to be important for uh, the future of not only just the, the business of the state, but everybody in the state. That's why we call our initiative Opportunity New Jersey. It's an opportunity for everybody. And there's nothing really controversial about these initiatives. They're common sense. A lot of them uh, have uh, components in place now that have kicked in could really be a benefit. So um, we have had dialogue. We hope to have continuing dialogue. And if it's meaningful dialogue, bipartisan and constructive, I, I, as I said, I'm cautiously optimistic that things can happen. A lot of those initiatives, while the groundwork might be in place, these are tough issues we're talking about, whether it's changing some regulations or mm -hmm. making sure people are finding jobs in New Jersey and advancing and, and the environment is right for businesses and affordable. Is there any low-hanging fruit? Is there any simple solution to any of these initiatives? I would say the lowest-hanging fruit is the uh, going back to an, issue, an initiative that I was very involved with, which is the replenishment of the transportation trust fund and the increase in the gas tax. That money has been uh, collected since November of 2015 and a lot of that money has not been invested in our infrastructure yet. If that money through projects um, and uh, improvements is put out on the street, it improves our economy, it puts people back to work, it makes our state more competitive, it really does a lot of good things. So. That money is there, ready to go, and, and the workers are ready to go, and the need is there. So to me, that's low-hanging fruit, and that could be something that, if done initially, could be a good kickstart. Tom, we've seen through the year or so some criticism around the state tax incentives to attract businesses mm -hmm. and keep businesses in New Jersey. Do you think that might be changed in 2018 or tweaked at all, and should it be? That's one of our initiatives. Uh, I think that... Uh, we've had to have tax uh, incentives because every state does. You have to do it for not only offensive purposes, but defensive purposes. If you don't have tax incentives, you are very uncompetitive. So the need to have those is imperative. Uh, but it has been, in my estimation, a little top heavy and uh, targeted to uh, a very select few of cities. Um, I'll give you my uh, point of view on the Amazon situation, which five to seven billion dollars for one company, it'd be great if we got Amazon in this town, Newark. But if we don't get Amazon, because the whole reason to do that was the economic impact uh, for the state, take that same five billion dollars and give it to the 350,000 plus companies in New Jersey and watch the economic impact that that creates. If you invest in companies that are here who, are in, who are, have been in the state, who are committed to the state, give them the incentive to add employees, that would be a huge step forward. And, and that's something that those businesses have been crying for. 
So uh, I think there's a possibility that, that it will get drilled down. There's a number of different people talking about that. I even think the governor-elect has mentioned that. Um, so I hope that happens because it would be a big, big benefit of the state, not only to the businesses, uh, the, those businesses, but it would spread that uh, economic incentive throughout the entire state, which would be great. Tom, I hope next time we talk, it's not cautious optimism, but flat-out optimism. So let's hope as we head into I 2018. I hope the same.